Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jonathan Coates and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be following up on my multi-agent framework autonomous agent videos where I cover the recent developments and how to install and use these different tools to help you help assist you with your business. In my previous video, I talked about AutoGen Studio. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about AutoDev, which is an open source alternative to Devon, which came out recently from Scott Yu, who's the CEO of Cognition. And AutoDev is actually something that came out from Microsoft. And this is the framework, the basic framework right here, which is the automated artificially intelligent software engineer. And this is an open source alternative to Devon, which is extremely helpful because it's the first of its kind to actually help you to build and develop apps or any other reason or task that you would give to a software engineer or have to hire them for. You can basically just have auto dev or any other open source alternative to Devon, such as Devica, which I'm going to talk about in this video as well. So this is actually how it works right here. It's based on just like with Autogen, a multi-agent framework. And depending on the task that you give it, the user definition, it initializes the conversation. This is the conversational manager right here. So you give it rules and actions and based off of your prompts, the objectives that you give the conversational manager, it'll take that and parse and organize what exactly it'll need from the tool library here. And it'll parse that information and invoke these different tools and use whichever is necessary in order to best accomplish your task. And then it'll sort of go through this cycle over and over again and it will use the repository here is the official docker in this state and if you have any type of incorrections as it comes back through it'll go through the testing and it even uses git and from the output organizer if there's any type of errors it'll just go through that process again and the parser will choose what tool is used necessary in order to best accomplish the task based off of the rules and actions that you give it in the beginning and the schedule is everything now this is the conversational measure and you have multi agents. So you're not just relying on any one given language model. So you should see this PDF in the description right here. This is officially from Microsoft. I just read the first little bit here. The landscape of software development has witnessed a paradigm shift with the advent of AI powered assistance exemplified by GitHub Copilot. However, existing solutions are not leveraging all the potential capabilities available in an IDE, such as building, testing, executing code, Git operations, etc. Therefore, they're constrained by their limited capabilities, primarily focusing on suggesting code snippets and file manipulation within a chat-based interface. To fill this gap, Microsoft prevents AutoDev, a fully automated AI-driven software development framework designed for autonomous planning and execution of intricate software engineering tasks. AutoDev enables users to define complex software engineering objectives, which are assigned to AutoDev's autonomous AI agents to achieve. And these AI agents can perform diverse operations on a code base, including file editing, retrieval, build processes, execution, testing, and Git operations. And they also have access to files, compiler output, building and testing logs, static analysis tools. So I actually created a document here that's mainly based on how this can benefit businesses. What I'm going to be talking about and discussing in this video is how to use these tools, not just AutoDev, because this is the basic framework right here. It's the raw framework, but the problem with AutoDev, and you'll notice this after you install it, and I'll leave the quick start guide in the description. I'm not going to walk you through installing it in this video, but I'll leave the resource in the description. What I want to mainly focus on is how this can benefit businesses. But what you'll notice between the difference between AutoDev and the other alternative, which is Devica, is this one actually has a better user interface, which is more accessible to the average person. Whereas AutoDev, is, you have to kind of be more familiar with coding. So you can come to JetBrains Marketplace here to get AutoDev. They have a demo right here in this video walk you through how to use this but i'm just going to walk you through this video real quick on how you can use this for your business i even have a strategy that i want to share with you that can help you to generate a ton of traffic to your website no matter your product service or opportunity so the benefit for the average business it can help you increase productivity and lower your costs faster development you can automate tasks like code generation and testing developers can complete projects quicker this helps to translate the faster time to market for products and the features so you don't have to spend six to seven months in all the different phases of creating a software or an app or a software as a service that you want to sell you can go ahead and get it done rather than six months you can knock it out in seven days probably even less than that especially if you're clear on exactly everything that you want to do which again i'm going to share with you a, a quick little strategy that i was putting together earlier i was mainly trying to make a software that can mass produce websites and use highly optimized search engine optimized articles with relevant terms and keywords that all have affiliate products 
related to those subject matters. And I was trying to create that software because there's actually a paid version of that out right now that's like $347 a month and there's no open source alternative. So I was like, well, I can just use this to just create my own version. And I'll just leave this in the description. You can do it as well if you want to take the time to kind of put that together. But basically just put the keywords in. You give about 15 to 20 different domains with all related and relevant URL titles to your niche or your industry. And it mass produces these websites. Well, that will take you like two to three weeks to do that on your own, but it would be a lot easier if you had a software. So I was already trying to go ahead and create that myself. And now I can do it with this. So it reduces the development team size. This assistant allows businesses to operate with small development teams, reducing the overall development costs, improved software quality. So you get fewer errors. There's a bug slaying assistant. It can help catch the errors early in the development process. And this leads to more reliable and stable software. You get better documentation, automatic code documentation that helps to improve code maintainability. This makes it easier for future developers to understand and modify the code base, enhance innovation. This frees up the developer times. This allows developers to have more time to focus on creative problem solving and developing new features. Because of the customizable prompts, this allows businesses to tailor prompts and explore new functionalities and features they would have might not have considered before. Accessibility and a broader development pool. Because of the multilingual support, this opens doors for the businesses to collaborate with developers who speak different languages. And this actually lowers the barrier to entry and levels the playing field. The assistance can make coding more accessible to everyone, potentially allowing business to tap into a wider talent pool for development projects. So it is important to understand just like this is a tool with every other tool, there are pros and cons. And again, I'm going to leave this in the description as well. Devica is the it's the other alternative to Devon, which is the first AI software engineer and auto dev and Devica are both open source. And this one actually has a more accessible and friendly user interface. So be sure to check this out. It's in the description. You have the getting started information configuration guide, the about it even shares with you the key features and whatnot system architecture it breaks down everything. And I'll try to have a separate video for this. I just kind of want to do a general broad overview here because there's enormous benefit here for businesses. So when it comes to the cons, it's important to remember that the AI coding wizard is just a tool and like any other tool that has its limitations. So some of the things to keep in mind is the complexity. Autodev might struggle with highly complex coding tasks requiring in-depth human expertise. Understanding requirements is crucial to clearly define your needs and provide accurate prompts from the beginning for Autodev to generate the desired code effectively. Basically what I was talking about here in this framework here in the initial beginning, when you give it rules and actions and objectives, you want to make sure that you're clear and specific. And the third issue is over-reliance. While Autodev can automate tasks, it shouldn't replace the need for skilled developers who can make crucial decisions, ensure the overall quality of the project. But overall, the AI coding wizard can be a valuable asset for businesses of all sizes. It can streamline development processes, improve software quality, and free up development time for innovation. However, it's important to use it strategically and alongside skilled developers to maximize its benefits. So I'll leave all of this in the description. The PDF document from Microsoft here, they go over everything. It's only 10 pages here. This is main framework and it goes to each of the different sections here. So as I was explaining earlier, the conversational manager, the multi-agents, the tool library that gets invoked when deciding what's most appropriate and necessary in order to achieve your task. And then the Docker it explains all these different segments and sections right here. And then the GitHub page where it shows you the interface here, as you can see, this is a little bit more raw for the auto dev side. So the interface isn't as friendly as Devica, but you can see this in the description. This is basically the GitHub page right here. And then the quick start guide on the left hand side, you have the different if you click on AI agent and you click on Devon's quick start, it runs down basically how to set everything up, how to go through this. I don't want to promise anything, but I'll try to create just like with my other videos on basically how to set it all up. But it's pretty step by step here. So I'll leave this in the description. Plugins.jetbrains.com auto dev and again it has like a little getting started area right here as well as some reviews a couple of reviews that you can take a look at and then the github section here for devica which is another alternative to devin an open source ai software engineer and then this project that i'm working on to basically create an open source version of a software that can mass produce websites that are all highly search engine optimized and can basically create articles and lead everyone back to the necessary and relevant subject matter sales funnel.
So whatever it may be, whether it be a health or fitness website or it be a dating or relationship website or a chef or a culinary website, I want to create a software that can mass produce websites that are all related to that niche. And on each one of the websites, they're all have articles that are highly relevant and informative and leads people back to a sales funnel or a relevant sales funnel that sells products that's related to that niche. And each one of the articles are all highly optimized in the SEO, meaning there's enough keywords in the article for the search engine crawlers and the spiders, as well as the necessary headers and tags and titles and descriptions, etc. All the stuff that goes into doing on-page optimization. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoy. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, jonathancoast.com. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below, as well as the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. I'll have everything that I included in this training, as well as a guide on benefits for the average businesses on using open source AI software. All right. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.